Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV. Last time we defeated Stark and we got the gas canister, so now we can get a hot air balloon to fly all around the world. Yeah, finally we get, um, flight. So let's just take our canister over here to this guy who was working on it or researching it or something. Yeah, sure. Huh. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, okay, see you tomorrow. Okay. So what we have to do now is just go to the inn, and I don't remember if I actually need to go to the inn, as far as, like, healing is concerned, but I did just fight a Stark. I mean, I did just fight the ruler of the underworld, but I don't remember if I used the inn last episode or not. It was 24 hours ago that I recorded. Give me a freaking break. Anyway, it's not like the money's gonna break me. I have plenty of money. I'm good. Hey there. Oh, great. The first one? How many machines did you make? There's only one gas canister. Are you just, like, pulling multiple gas canisters out of your ass now? Like, I don't understand. Oh, well. Anyway, we got a hot air balloon. Coupled with probably the most boring flight music in an RPG ever. Yeah, not really a fan of the balloon music. I'm not really a fan of the balloon travel in general. Like, we have flying rocks, we have magic carpets, we have magical birds, we have flying beds, we have all sorts of different stuff in other Dragon Quest games, and here we get a hot air balloon. Like, seriously? So, if you hit the A button, you can look down at the world below. But, yeah, you can't really make anything out. But I do want to just go ahead and land, because the balloon is also as slow as molasses. So, I'm just going to zoom to where I want to go to next. I know it's very anticlimactic. We will be using the balloon later on in the episode, but right now it's just slow. Let's go back to Hoffman's place now that we have the balloon and we've defeated a Stark. And... We've gotten the Liquid Metal Sword. We can hear something from... Not Elvis. Yeah, so a hard-headed woman and her hunk of burn and love went down to search for some pirate treasure. Really? Huh. I wonder where the pirate treasure is. Yeah, I'm just gonna meet you at Cascade Cave. Okay, here I am. I've also cast Repel for obvious reasons. Oh, well, too bad I've already taken it. Yeah, actually, there is. Oh, open up a shop. Huh. Compete with that other item shop person? He doesn't seem like the nicest guy I've ever seen. Yeah, the other day he was bitching about some oil-obsessed country. I don't know who he could possibly be talking about. Strayo Loose? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. So, just come to my town. Okay, perfect. Yeah, thankfully they're not all the way at the bottom of this cave, like in so many other JRPGs. Anyway, let's just get on out of here. We're done now. And by recruiting those two, we have gone ahead and... um move the town up to its next evolutionary phase, or whatever it is that you want to say. Oh. It's all shook up. Yeah. Um, sure. So, if you recall, last time we read a book here um, about Pioneeria, and he's going to talk a little bit more about that. So, the young sultan set eyes upon the young maidens of the troop and fell in love with her, even though it was plural, but now it's singular, but okay, whatever. So the Sultan Farag's viziers were opposed to the marriage, but the father approved, so that's all that really matters. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you shouldn't let things like class or money get between you. There's nothing in the inn, unfortunately, but let's continue right along. The church has now been built, and it's populated by a David the Gnome, apparently. Um, he just saves and junk. Hey there. 
What do we have here? Um, she sells some accessories, but they're all really crappy. We already got a Lucidia Shard. I want to say that that cures the confusion status, but nothing really confuses you, so... I don't know. It's odd that in Final Fantasy, confusion is like a really... Like a, like a, like, like, it's like an early game status that you have to deal with, but in Dragon Quest, it's like an end game status. Like, you have to wait to like the final dungeon before somebody casts chaos on you. Oh, looks like he's building something else over here. Just got done building the church, so he's building that. Mirages. See crazy otherworldly stuff. Huh. No kidding. Pioneers coming to the town could have been do through mirages from other worlds. Wow. Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, actually, I did last time, but thanks for letting me know about it. Yeah, we're not going to be reading it again. If you want to read it, go back a couple of videos and it will be there. Hey, get a mini medal. Awesome. I think the next reward for mini medals is a happy hat, which is actually the best piece of equipment that Bray can um, have. Um, sure. Really? Wow, you're a bitch. I founded this town. Screw you. Ugh, open up a shop or something. Do something. What is wrong with you? Ugh, oh, pain in my ass. Other mages can equip that happy hat that you get from the Metal King, but um, other mages can also equip better stuff in their head slot. Yeah, I'm thinking that she must be pregnant and they're like stunned or something. I don't know why they're... I, I don't... whatever. Who cares? They're a little mini storyline. I'm not... whatever. I'm not going to keep up with it. And in here, I'm just going to check the spots that actually have something. Let's see that one, and this one. Nothing too amazing, but it's there. Let's move on to this crabby item shop uh, guy. <laughs> yeah, to compete with you! Well, what do you want from her? Okay, so, um, yeah, he just sells normal item st shop junk that I don't care about. And here we get magic water. Awesome. And the dog, it looks like, has found yet something else. Another mini metal! Awesome! So now that we've got these mini metals here, and I think that that's everything. Let me use my news for treasure. Okay, yeah. So I've gotten all the treasures around here. So let's go ahead and zoom off to... Where do I want to go? Um, the Metal King's Castle. Want to get that happy hat. Because not only is it great defense, but it restores MP with every single step. Later on, I'll probably want to put it on a white mage. Like if I'm in like in a hard dungeon or something so that my white mage can continually heal me. But for right now, because it is Bray's best piece of headgear, I am going to stick it on him. My next reward with I think two more medals is a mighty armlet for increasing my strength. Hey, hey awesome. So let's see, yeah, this happy hat. So, defense from 94 up to 107, and again, other mages can equip it, but the Iron Helmet for the White Mages is better than the Happy Hat as far as defense is concerned. And it's decent for Maya, but she has the Golden Tiara, whereas he still has the Leather Hat. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and stick it on him. Okay. Moving right along. Next place that I want to go to is... Mintos, just because it is close to um, the next area that I want to go to. So let's go ahead and hop in our hot air balloon. And remember we got that treasure map in Mintos a long time ago? Well, now we need to go to where the X marks the spot, which is right over here. Earlier, we could not get around here because of the mountains surrounding it. Oh, and I examined rather than landed, whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and land. You know what, actually, before we land, I just want to look at the world map. Huh, the tree that's so prominent here does not show up on this world map. I want to say they do that just so, like, it's a mystery, you know, it's, it's a mystery. What could the X possibly be? 
Um, but yeah. Let's look at the map of the town, though, if we can. But I don't think it's gonna let me. Yeah, this this town, for whatever reason, is not letting me look at the map. Every other town has a cute little map, but this one not letting me do it for some reason. Monsters are infesting Yadrassel. Wow, that's rough. Oh, really? We're gonna have to pick up a leaf or two. Yeah, I'll be the judge of what's useful or not. El Ferrado, not El Dorado. Okay, I get it. There's somebody up there. Really? Someone's calling for help, but they're asking for groups of three. Only three, no more. So arrange a team of three, go up there and see what this person's going on about. Okay, here, we can buy a flowing dress, which is the water-flying clothes of previous games, and that reduces damage from fire and ice-based magic attacks. It's good for your mages. Um, it's good piece of equipment for Bray, but he's going to be getting something else soon enough, so I'm not going to worry about it. The power shield, however, is the best shield in the entire game for Taloon. So let's go ahead and buy that for him. Also, you can use it as an item in battle to cast the Heal More spell. It's essentially the shield of strength from the previous games. Anyway, let's go ahead and make our party of three. Um, this next dungeon is not that long, so David's healing can suffice, and a lot of enemies in here are weak to ice. So we're going to go ahead and bring Bray to Loon. The only reason why I'm really bringing to Loon is just because we haven't really seen him in battle all that much. So I figured, eh, why not? We'll go ahead and throw him in, just so we can look at him. I'm also going to give him that Sword of Miracles that we got last time that I gave to Christo. But again, I just wanted to give to him because I'm just kind of passing it around. Um, what I'm trying to say, I'm just passing it around to whoever needs it. Let's go ahead and uh, pick up a leaf. Yeah, you can examine anywhere at all as long as you're on a leaf to get a leaf. And you use those as an item to fully revive someone. However, you can only get one. Um, you cannot pick up multiple leaves, unfortunately. That Staff of Salvation can be equipped on your mages, and you can use it as an item in battle to also cast the Heal More spell. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Let's go down first. I've got to be very careful because you don't want to fall off the edge here. Um, let's see. Where do I want to go? Okay, I want to go over this way. I'm, like freaking out here. It's this was easier to do in the NES version because it was very blocky, you know. But here it's not very blocky, and the camera's different, so it's kind of hard for me to see where I'm going. Here we get some Yggdrasil Dew, which essentially is the heal us all spell or the omni heal spell um it's kind of nice i'd probably just cast holy protection again and get through here with no encounters i'm surprised that i made it this far with none of them uh oh here we have a mucifer and some fiddle sticks fiddle sticks uh let's see we'll go ahead and use crack on all of these guys so much for ice being effective yeah, it's been 24 hours since I last uh, recorded, but I do recall last episode um, enemies having issues with Bray, but... <laughs> oh well, whatever. Okay, let's slowly make our way through here, moving right along. Okay, there we go. He has to kind of go all the way around. Ugh, it's like freaking me out. I don't want to fall. I don't want to have to redo this uh, dungeon again. Some whirly girlies. Oh, shoot. I was, I was going to use some ice magic against them, but I hit the A button too fast. Whatever. I killed them. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So here, now we're just kind of going around. Uh, let's see. A grim Keeper! Yeah, the puns are kind of ridiculous. Bam! Uh-oh. Yikes! Bammed me. Notice, again! Taloon, I am directly controlling him, and yet he still put that guy to sleep. You don't have to have him on tactics to, um, 
put enemies to sleep, just FYI. Um, it looks like I need to go and hug the wall to get to this next, um, stairwell. How there's stairs on a tree is beyond me. Oh? Or Ophelia, you came from Zeniatha. Really? Oh, no. That's horrible. Um, sure. So, to get to Zenitha, you have to have possession of all the Zenithan equipment. Oh, okay, great. How convenient. Hey, and with that, more party members with Orophilia joining. She's one of those guest party members that you can never really control. Um, she reminds me of Laurent from Chapter 3, because basically she can heal, she can attack, and she can debuff. Let me see if I can't show all of the spells that she has. Uh, full Heal, Dazzle, and Kasap. So yeah, she's basically a healer with some effect magic here and there. So now we're looking for, whoa, the Zenith and Sword, and she said it should be around here somewhere. We just gotta find it. Uh oh and fight ogres! Green ogres. Um, yeah, keep on going with the crack. Why not? kind of sad whenever somebody's physical attack is stronger than black magic, you know? Black magic should always be the strongest. And green dragons! Oh no! Oh, at least they're too stunned to move so I don't have to worry about them. Yeah, green dragons still freak me out from dying constantly in Dragon Warrior 1 trying to rescue the princess early whenever I was a kid. But here they're pretty easy. Ooh, a dragon shield. I'll definitely be selling that for some extra cash. Hey, there's the sword. Buried in leaves. Yeah. How a sword is in leaves, but okay, whatever. And with that, I should have the full Zenithin complement of gear. Oh. Um, sure. But where is Zenitha? I know, you already told me that. Ugh, you're annoying. Can I just zoom out of here? Would that be lovely? Woohoo, I can! Let's go ahead and equip our Zenithan equipment. Yeah, legendary sword. Awesome. Now, the Zenithan sword is not as good as the liquid metal sword. However, the um, the liquid metal sword can be equipped on, like, anyone. So it is nice to take it off of him so that you can give the sword to other people. Um, and for right now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick it on Ragnar. Why not? There we go. And, uh, yeah, that's it for Taloon. Let's go ahead and give him the Miracle Sword back to Christo. Okay, got that taken care of. And your cautery sword. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing all this menuing on screen. Speaking of menuing, let's get Orophilia out of my party because she sucks. I don't know, whoever. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to use this party for right now. Anyway, what we need to do is go to Zenitha. And there's one place left that we have yet to have been to. Which is this island in the middle of the map surrounded by shoals. But it doesn't look like there's much there. Whoa! Look at that! This place is huge! Holy crap! When did that happen? Oh man! But we're going to be exploring this place next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest IV. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.